It has been termed as one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions of the 21st century. Spectacular satellite images of violent undersea eruption in the island country of Tonga have gripped the world. While residents of the Pacific Island nation struggle to recover from the devastation caused due to the volcano and the resulting tsunami, many across the world are wondering about the scale of this spectacular event. Here's a look at what we know so far and if this will have any long-term impacts. On the 14th of January, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano that is located in the Tongan group of islands in the South Pacific Ocean saw so violent eruption. Honga Tonga is 65 kilometers north of Tonga Tapu, the country's main island. The volcano is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, an area characterized by active volcanoes and frequent earthquakes. It is home to about 75% of the world's volcanoes, that's more than 450 volcanoes. Satellite images show that the center of the volcano first sank, disappearing under the sea. About two hours later, there was a massive eruption that sent up a mushroom cloud of smoke and ash. So large was the blast that plumes of smoke and ash were estimated to be about 20 kilometers high. So fierce was the eruption that tsunami warnings were issued across the Pacific, including in Samoa, Australia, Japan, Hawaii, Chile and the US Pacific coast. A sonic boom could be heard as far away as Alaska and sent pressure shock waves around the planet twice, altering atmospheric pressure. In fact, a spike in pressure was felt as far away as in Goa in India. Large waves were detected up until the Caribbean due to pressure changes generated by the eruption. Waves between one and four feet tall were reported from California to Alaska in the United States. Evacuations were ordered in parts of Japan after forceful waves were detected and Hawaii was slammed by waves of up to two feet. The eruption has left a trail of devastation in its wake. Pictures that are now emerging from Tonga, which is a group of 170 South Pacific Islands, show the extent of damage. A blanket of ash, torn down trees, mutilated homes and buildings, debris scattered across shorelines. Pictures and videos on social media also show the aftermath of the tsunami that sent meter-long waves crashing into the islands. In a video posted on social media, a resident talks of the rain of volcanic ash and pieces of rock that were scattered far and wide. It's currently raining volcanic rocks or ashes right now. Like the ground is literally filled up with... Danny. Well, Bali, the volcano erupted in Hawaii and we were in town. And like there was just big booms in town and we all rushed home and then it started raining volcanic rocks right now and we have a tsunami warning. Tonga's government has called it an unprecedented disaster and appealed for aid. Speaking at a UN briefing, Jonathan Reach, the resident coordinator for the Pacific Islands, said the UN teams are setting up a temporary clinic and supplying emergency aid, including food, water and tents. We'll have seen uh, perhaps on satellite images, um, it seems that houses, all houses were destroyed on Mango Island and we have to count exactly how many that is and, and exactly what the population was that's been displaced and evacuated. And only two houses remain on Funuifa Island. And, and there is also extensive damage uh, recorded on Namuka Island. The evacuation pro uh, process has also uh, begun and the government is supporting that uh, from Atata 
to Tonga Tapu, to, to the main island, and from Mango Island, um, as I mentioned. There has also been an outpouring of support from the Australian and New Zealand governments which have deployed defence ships to provide immediate relief. Other countries have also promised aid. And while Tongans rebuild their lives, the eruption has thrown up another question. Will it impact global climate? Now, when volcanoes blow up, they throw up gas, ash and rocks. One gas of particular interest is sulfur dioxide. When a significant amount is released into the atmosphere, it can lead to global cooling. But this eruption seems to have thrown a lesser amount, which is unlikely to lower global temperatures. However, a short-term impact on the islands of Tonga are expected. The ash in the air and the water could cause major health risks for people living there. In the ocean, that ash can be harmful to marine life and could also potentially smother coral reefs, which form a natural barrier to rising water levels. Scientists also warn that more eruptions in the volcano are very likely. And if that happens, tsunami waves that follow could add to the worry.